All right, if you're in the market this year to buy an ATSC 3.0 next gen TV or tuner, here's a couple of things to pay attention to. First of all, you want to make sure you're actually buying a TV that will not only receive next gen TV signals, but also decode any that use DRM encryption, also known as digital rights management. A good place to start is to look on Next Gen TV's website, watchnextgentv.com, and go to Shop Devices. There's a listing there of currently approved Next Gen TV tuners and televisions. They have the ADTH Next Gen TV tuner on there, as well as some Zinwell models that are yet to be released. Conspicuously absent from this list is the Zapper Box, which has proven already that it can receive next-gen signals as well as decode DRM encrypted channels. On the TV side, Sony, Hisense, and Samsung are all models that will support next-gen television. Now, as a consumer, you want to watch out for this when you're buying a TV. On the box, you should be able to find this next-gen TV logo. This logo is the so-called seal of approval that the TV you're going to buy can actually receive next-gen TV channels and it should be able to decode DRM encrypted signals as well. If you're not sure about a TV model, the best thing to do is to search it up online, look for its manual, and in the manual you want to look under specifications, in particular tuner specifications. That will tell you the type of TV tuner that's built in to the television. It should say ATSC 3.0 Next Gen. Now it may also mention NTSC and ATSC 1.0 because those TVs still have to be able to receive ATSC 1 channels as well as any analog NTSC stations, although there are none of those anymore, anyways. But you want to make sure that it definitely says ATSC 3.0 Next Gen. If it does not specify that, in the tuner section of the manual, chances are that TV is not going to be next-gen compatible. You don't want to buy it. Now, on the antenna side of things, you also want to watch out for a couple of things as a consumer here. You're going to see a lot of antennas in stores, and right on the front of the box or packaging, it's going to say next-gen TV compatible, next-gen TV, next-gen this, next-gen that. Don't fall for those marketing gimmicks. Any TV antenna will work for next-gen television. You can use your 1950s rooftop antenna, you can use a coat hanger, a homemade antenna, or a brand new antenna you bought in 2024. They're all gonna work the same. There is no special antenna required for next-gen TV reception. Next-gen TV channels are simply RF signals. They are received the same way that older ATSC-1 signals and the same way analog signals were received. There's no difference at all, so don't fall for that next-gen TV marketing. TV antennas differ in how well they receive certain frequencies of RF signals, but in terms of receiving a next-gen TV signal, a TV antenna made 20 years ago can receive one just as a brand new one made in 2024 can receive one as well. The newer antenna might be more optimized for today's frequencies that are used for television broadcasting, but there's no special antenna needed to receive next-gen TV channels. Most TV antennas sold in stores nowadays will have the next-gen logo on the box somewhere, but that does not necessarily mean that the design of the antenna has changed in any way. So those are a few things you want to watch out for as a consumer. Make sure you're doing your research before you buy anything so that you're getting a product you're going to be satisfied with.